In this video, we are going to take a look at five weird ways that you can make over $2,000 this summer. I've tried to make this list so that everyone has at least one of these hustles that they can go out and start. I would say 10 years old and, and up for, for these, depending on what your parents allow you, depending on your physical size also, because some of these you have to get your hands to kind of dirty. First weird way that you can make money is through selling vintage clothing online. So hear me out on this one because you've probably heard about uh, reselling clothes before on YouTube. And that is not a very weird or um, extraordinary uncommon side hustle to pick up. But what I found is selling w vintage clothing. I think it's because it's probably my own like style with a uh, kind of vintage uh, cloth clothing. And I, and I found this app called Trend Sales, which is a website where you can se sell used clothes online, but that is currently only available in Denmark. Fortunately, there are loads of alternatives on the uh, American market. You can go with the Facebook marketplace, eBay, or make an Etsy store. If you're just looking to get started, probably go with a Facebook marketplace because a lot of people are on there and it's pretty straightforward to get started with. So what you're going to be doing other than just selling uh, the clothes that you don't use anymore is go out to thrift stores and buy clothes that has a brand that is uh, recognized by people and that people want to pay money for uh, that is underpriced in the thrift store or you want to buy vintage clothing just clothes no matter the brand that just looks great um, also quality of course if you put the word vintage in suddenly people will pay twice uh, the price that they normally would with time you develop a strategy so that you can quickly find what sells and what doesn't so you can search up in the store you can search up um, what it sells for on marketplace or eBay or Etsy and with the trend sales app which is in Denmark so you can probably find something like that if you search on the American App Store all the shipping is handled they just the, the customer that pays you uh, you have your own little store and then the person that wants to buy your product pays the shipping automatically you get a little code that you have to write on your package that's a insurance on the package also so you ensure that you get your money the second way to make more money this summer is to start breeding dogs i know it sounds a bit extreme maybe to some people but try and think about it you a lot of people have dogs and if you're a dog person then you have a dog yourself and you know how expensive it can be to buy a dog i just looked up golden retriever puppies on like the local craigslist here in denmark and they sell for more than two thousand dollars uh, in the Danish currency. So that is a six week old puppy. The mother dog pops it out, waits six week feed and stuff, and you sell it. It couldn't be much easier. I'm more of a cat person myself. I don't really know too much more about this business endeavor, but I have a friend who has done this himself, actually two friend, friends, and there are loads of different breeds of dogs that you can start breeding. There are some that sells for thousands and thousands of dollars, but you can also just go with a puppy like a golden retriever, which people probably know, and you can get $2,000 for one puppy. So, and each time the mother gets baby, she probably, probably gets like three, uh, four or five. But the even more interesting thing I heard about dog breeding is that you can actually make money off a male dog as well. So every time uh, you can have like an ad on Facebook and every time someone orders, uh, they'll pay like 150 bucks for this, someone told me, for like the, the male dog of some um, clean breed, like uh, for example, a golden retriever to they will pay you 150 bucks for a breed, like for the, you know, the action. And that is, I think uh, that could be even more interesting. You don't have to do any work other than take care of the dog yourself, the, the, the one dog, not the six small puppies. So this could be uh, another way. If you love dogs, get some, a good breed that is worth a lot to people and start doing this one. The third weird way that you can make money this summer is by making a pancake stand. So let me tell you a quick story. Once I was in the capital of Denmark, went there with my family and I bought a pancake for, hold on, $8. The most expensive pancake I have ever bought. And it was very good. And a guy was just standing, I think, out of his truck. So I think the setup for this one is maybe a bit harder than some of the others. Place where a lot of tourists come, they will buy a pancake for $8. And this was like five years ago six, seven years ago, actually, I think. Inflation has probably pushed that price up. So if you're in a big city, 
you could probably charge like 10, 10 bucks for a, a pancake, even though it sounds pretty extreme. So 10 bucks for a pancake, crank out a hundred of those a day, and you're pretty well set with your pancake stand. This is actually also one that I got from one of my friends who just briefly mentioned that he didn't get the job that he wanted this summer, so, so he would start a pancake stand instead. So kind of a weird hustle, but definitely uh, one, one that's worth your while. The fourth way that you can start making money this summer is one that I've personally been thinking about starting in the past. If you have the ability to make a garden, if you live on a farm out in the country, this is one for you. It is start uh, planting and growing leeks. So leek, I'll put a picture up here. It is this plant, you probably know it, a vegetable that is pretty expensive uh, compared to other vegetables in the stores. So you can probably get like for an organic leek around a dollar. I don't know about in the US, but it's a little bit more expensive in Denmark, I think. What I found interesting about this crop is it's not really hard to grow for firstly. And secondly, you can grow a hundred of these in one square meter. So I'll put up the translation into feet here, but that is a very small uh, area that you can plant a lot of crops. So you get a hundred dollars basically per square square meter. And if you have 20 square meters, well, that's $2,000 for you. You already made your target this summer. Great. Growing leeks. If it's too late in the season now, save this one for next year, but definitely one to keep in mind. It's easy to sell these. Just make a road stand, make a sign, $1 for a leak, put a giant picture up so people know what it is. And then, yeah, that is how I usually do it with vegetables when I've sold them. The fifth one on the list, I've heard one time mentioned on YouTube, but I think this one is not given, given enough credit by the uh, hustle community. So it is helping elderly people with their basically all kinds of tech. So this can be your television setup, your Facebook account setup, online shopping like Kroger online shopping. Many elderly people don't know how to go online and order their shopping with their Instacart and all these services that now require you to go online. So television, social media, many elderly people don't use Instagram, Snapchat, all these. So Facebook will be the most important one for you. The thing is, you don't have to know anything about these platforms, basically. You have to know, like, be one step ahead of an elderly 80-year-old person, and that is pretty easy to do. Start with your grandparents, tell them that they have to sell their elderly friends uh, from the, like, the golf club, that they also uh, should get this service. You can, there's multiple ways to get these kind of clients, but I think the most realistic one is just word of mouth. I couldn't see a, like, an advertisement on Facebook being like, elderly people watch out for this tech dude who's trying to make money. There are ways to get customers for this one and you will charge maybe around $40 per hour because two hours of um, intense tutoring will be enough to maybe set up the televisions, load up the Instacart with the groceries and then you'll have 80 bucks for that day. I recommend that you watch this video right here if you want to learn about other ways that you can make money also in the summertime. Otherwise, click some links down in the description for other videos on more ideas. I have loads of ideas here on this channel.